So we finished treating Jolaine and um, we achieved improved symmetry of the lower pelvis and we restored mobility of the lower pelvis and that also restored symmetry side to side of the ilia. I'm going to focus on the pube now and then we'll get her on her stomach and I'll show you that symmetry and I'll show you that gain of mobility. So after doing that treatment, I retested the pubic joints and the pubic joint still had hypermobility on each side when I would spring it backwards. And so if you'll come over here, a little while ago we had the belt applied up high in a typical high position that most people wear one for SIJD. And we came and I tested the, the, the pubic joint and I could spring it just like before and get almost, you know, get about a quarter inch of excursion. Then we took the belt and we put it down low, below the pockets at the trochanters and at the level of the pubic bone. And now with the belt on, I'm putting a lot more force and there's no give. Her pube is definitely stable when the SI belt is worn low. So wearing the SI belt low is very effective for a pubic joint, but wearing it up high does not stabilize a pubic joint. So we'll take the belt off now and have you lie on your stomach. And then you probably want to come below the table. And now you can see that her sit bones are closer to the midline. I, I'm not, I wouldn't say they're totally symmetrical. There might be a subtle difference, but there, there's certainly a lot more space right in here. And here is the spring test. You can see I can load it down and I can spring it and you see it bounce back. And on her right sit bone, I can take up the slack to a stop point and then it takes an extra amount of force to make that move and it does spring now so we've restored mobility and now we're taking up the slack on the right one and it moves medially and we take up the slack going laterally on the left and then we spring it and there's a spring and a recoil so we've improved the position of the lower pelvis and we've improved mobility in the transverse plane um, in the lower pelvis do you want to walk around and see how you feel and then maybe come sit in the chair You'll have to speak loudly when you give us feedback because the camera doesn't have a very good mic. So go down the hall and back. I would say it feels more stable. Does it? Yeah, it does. Very good. And try sitting in the chair. So this is a unique treatment approach called the Hesh method. Yeah. Time will tell, but it feels good so far. Yeah. Okay, what does it feel like in sitting? I I think my muscles have relaxed some, and so I'm more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You keep nodding your head, so yes. I know that it's a positive yeah, change. Yeah, it's positive. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. So this was an interesting presentation on a lower windswept pelvis coupled with um, hypermobility of the pubic joint with x-ray evidence of increased width of that pubic joint. And the belt worn low at the level below the pockets on the trochanters and across the pubic joint was very helpful, whereas wearing that support up high did not increase stability in the, uh, in the pubic joint. And we should also experiment with you and have you walk with the belt up high and then with the belt low yeah. and mm -hmm. see what that feels like subjectively. Okay. But we'll stop filming this for now. Thank you very much.